recent flight over West Virginia, entomology professor Margaret Palmer was stunned by what she saw. My family is from the Appalachian region of North Carolina, and I have a home in West Virginia, so I care a lot about the area. So I expected on the flyover to see forests everywhere with little patches of, of coal mine sites, and instead I saw something quite different. I saw sort of moonscapes of mined areas with little patches of forest. That moonscape was a result of this, mountaintop mining, a coal excavation practice that blasts the top off mountains, cuts down forests, and sends debris tumbling into the valleys below. And it's causing irreparable damage to the environment and risks to human health. That's according to Palmer and a leading group of scientists in a new report published in the journal Science that calls for a moratorium on any new mountaintop mining permits. Rarely do scientists come out and actually make a policy recommendation. And it was so clear after we finished our analysis of what, was, what had been published already and an analysis of new data that the, the impacts were huge. They are, appear to be irreversible and there's been no mitigation to date that has really resulted in getting these ecosystems back to where they were. Increasingly used worldwide, this kind of mining is widespread in the Appalachian regions of West Virginia, Kentucky, and North Carolina. It's considered more profitable than underground mining because it's quicker and requires less manpower. But for Palmer, that profit comes at a heavy cost. The excess material, the rocks and so forth, that is on top of that coal is pushed over the edge of the mountains into the valleys below, or what is, are locally called hollers. The streams in the valley fills uh, are destroyed permanently. Under current U.S. law, permits are issued as long as the coal company does something to make up for it like planting new trees or creating a new stream. But all the while, you still have the same polluted water entering the stream. That is water that comes off a mine site or rain that lands on a valley fill and seeps through it and feeds into the streams has significant uh, problems with elevated chemicals. Chemicals like sulfate, magnesium, and selenium, which is toxic to organisms and can cause deformities in fish. The National Mining Association says that mitigation efforts have improved. Over the last five years, we all worked together on new soil compaction studies, and as a result, we're seeing a much better success rate for uh, hardwood forest regeneration. The mining group says that while more can be done in mitigation and reclamation efforts, an outright ban on permits is too extreme. The EPA and the Obama administration just this week, in fact, said that mountaintop mining uh, can be compatible with uh, health, environment, and economic protections uh, if done properly. Still, for the study's 12 authors, it's a practice that the U.S. must take a lead in banning. We're looking at major changes in China and in India. The amount of surface mining that they're doing is going up dramatically, and it's going to continue to increase dramatically. And I think if we set a clear example that while our needs for coal may be substantial and we understand that developing countries in particular need energy, there are good ways to do it and there are ways that are very destructive to do it. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.